Agent Schoolcraft was a cop in Brooklyn's 81st Precinct, targeted for not towing the thin blue line. What exactly did Schoolcraft do? He audio recorded conversations throughout his shift that disclosed blatant crime figure manipulation. They became known as the NYPD tapes. He shared his concerns with those in the internal affairs. Three weeks later, a couple of Schoolcraft's colleagues that had more medals pinned to their chests dictated that he be kept at a nearby psych ward. He was there for six days against his will. Schoolcraft was caged not because he aggressed upon anyone or made threats, but because the real criminals were trying to deter him from speaking out against their harmful, entrenched practices. Most would state opposition to a man or group of men kidnapping and caging another person against their will, but less speak out when the captors wear badges, especially when the captors decry that the caged person has a mental illness. After learning more about Schoolcraft's situation, I immediately thought of Thomas Zaws and thought that it would be good to create a related video. I do so myself, but I'm a bit busy, and I'm curious to see what kind of content gets generated through a contest. So, I'll personally donate 100 FRNs, or its equivalent in silver, to the person who makes the best video that relates Schoolcraft's experience to the Zazian perspective. From Wikipedia. Zaz consistently pays attention to the power of language in the establishment and maintenance of the social order, both in small, interpersonal, as well as wider socio-political spheres. The struggle for definition is veritably the struggle for life itself. In the typical Western, two men fight desperately for the possession of a gun that has been thrown to the ground. Whoever reaches the weapon first shoots and lives. His adversary is shot and dies. In ordinary life, the struggle is not for guns, but for words. Whoever first defines the situation is the victor, his adversary the victim. Since you might never have before heard of Zaz, here's a segment from a video I did on my bud Nathan Larson's situation that puts it another way. Ascribing a mental illness to those who question man-made legislation that conflicts with natural law is something governments have historically done to discredit ideas that erode their claimed legitimacy. If you're interested in submitting a video entry, visit PeteAir.com slash Schoolcraft for details and links to related resources. Oh, and by the way, just a bit more about Schoolcraft's current status. A few days ago, the title of a Village Voice article screened, The NYPD Tapes Confirmed. And that, after four internal investigations under two administrations that claimed to have found no evidence of wrongdoing. Schoolcraft, suspended from the NYPD, has brought suit and is adamant that it's going to trial and there's no way around that. The truth has to come out. A video that looks at Schoolcraft's situation from a Zazian perspective will demonstrate the perverse incentives in an institution that creates and interprets its own rules, which will then cause those thinking to consider alternatives. It's encouraging to see Schoolcraft remain unwavered. It'll only make it more likely for others to do the same. And eventually, it will become clear that to really fix things, we each just have to conclude and act on the fact that no one, not even those with badges, has extra rights.